Happiness is the ability to move forward, knowing the future will be better than the past. The chief cause of failure and unhappiness is trading what you want most for what you want right now. It makes no difference where you go, and it makes no difference what you have. There's always more to want. Until you are happy with who you are, you will never be happy because of what you have. Don't let someone who gave up on their dreams talk you out of going after yours. Hope is the power that gives a person the confidence to step out and try. Positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. If you don't see yourself as a winner, then you cannot perform as a winner. Don't let others be your judge and jury with their pity and negative thoughts or feelings. Know that you are here for a reason. Recognize, develop, and use the resources you have. Others see the surface. You know your heart. The greatest of all mistakes is to do nothing, because you think you can only do a little. Outside of your relationship with God, the most important relationship you can have is with yourself. I don't mean that we are to spend all our time focused on me, 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 to the exclusion of others. Instead, I mean that we must be healthy internally, emotionally, and spiritually in order to create healthy relationships with others. When your image improves, your performance improves. Your attitude, not your aptitude, determines your altitude. If you have the character to hang in there when it's tough, you will develop or acquire every other characteristic necessary to win in the game of life. If you do not think you deserve success, then you will do things that will keep you from getting success. You will get all you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. Moving from survival to stability, from stability to success, from success to significance. Success comes when opportunity meets preparation. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. You can change everything about your business by changing your thinking about your business. Fear has two meanings. Forget everything and run. Or face everything and rise. The choice is yours. Money is not everything, but it ranks right up there with oxygen. Success is dependent upon the glands, sweat glands. 
If you aim at nothing, you will hit nothing every time. A lot of people have gone further than they thought they could because someone else thought they could. You already have every characteristic necessary for success if you recognize, claim, develop, and use them. You are the only person on earth who can use your ability. Getting up and moving forward is a choice. Repetition is the mother of learning, the father of action, which makes it the architect of accomplishment. When obstacles arise, you change your direction to reach your goal. You do not change your decision to get there. When you do more than you're paid for, eventually you'll be paid for more than you do. Outstanding people have one thing in common, an absolute sense of mission. Where you start is not as important as where you finish. There are no traffic jams on the extra mile. Expect the best. Prepare for the worst. Capitalize on what comes. You can start where you are with what you've got and go to wherever it is you want to go. If you are going to be successful, you must develop persistence. How do you do that? It is not easily condensed in one simple statement, but one thing you can be sure of is that you must define your purpose. You cannot consistently perform in a manner which is inconsistent with the way you see yourself. We cannot start over, but we can begin now and make a new ending. Most people who fail in their dream fail not from lack of ability, but from lack of commitment. There is little you can learn from doing nothing. Make failure your teacher, not your undertaker. You don't drown by falling in water. You only drown if you stay there. Failure is a detour, not a dead-end street. One of the main reasons people fail to reach their full potential is because they are unwilling to risk anything. Try to look at your weakness and convert it into your strength. Don't let the mistakes and disappointments of the past control and direct your future. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. 
If you don't plan your time, someone else will help you waste it. Anyone with a purpose can make a difference. You need a plan to build a house. To build a life, it is even more important to have a plan or goal. In order for a goal to be effective, it must effect change. Lack of direction, not lack of time, is the problem. We all have 24 hours a day. You can't hit a target you cannot see. And you cannot see a target you do not have. A goal properly set is halfway reached. The real benefit of having goals is what you become by reaching them. You got to have long-range goals. You go as far as you can see, and when you get there, you will always be able to see further. To reach your full potential, you have to set goals that will stretch you. When you stop planning and preparing, you stop winning. Desire is born with vision. A vision without a task is but a dream. A task without a vision is drudgery. But a vision and a task are the hope of the world. Look back in forgiveness, forward in hope, down in compassion, and up with gratitude. How happy a person is depends upon the depth of his gratitude. You will notice at once that the unhappy person has little gratitude toward life, other people, and God. You become part of what you are around. The more you are grateful for what you have, the more you will have to be grateful for. You cannot fly with the eagles if you continue to scratch with the turkeys. You don't climb the high mountain all by yourself. It is in conjunction with others that we really accomplish the major things in life. Surround yourself with people who want the best for you and the people you love. Many marriages would be better if the husband and wife clearly understood that they're on the same side. Duty makes us do things well, but love makes us do them beautifully. The best way to make your spouse and children feel secure is not with big deposits in bank accounts, but with little deposits of thoughtfulness and affection in the love account. Don't be distracted by criticism. Remember, the only taste of success some people have is when they take a bite out of you.